Hey guys, welcome to Speak About Digital. In this video, I'm going to guide you on how you can easily use Apollo I.O. I'm going to cover a very quick basic tutorial to get you going and understand how Apollo I.O. works. So, if you have no idea about Apollo I.O. and how to get started, then this video is for you. Apollo I.O. is a powerful platform for sales and marketing teams that provides a wide range of features to help you find and engage with prospects and customers. In this tutorial, we will go through the basics of using Apollo and cover some useful tips and tricks to help you get the most out of this tool. Just before we start, please consider giving me a thumbs up, otherwise I'll go ahead and jump right into the Apollo I.O. tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is, if you didn't create your account yet, you will have a link down below in the description. It's very easy to create an account. And if you already have an account, just skip this step and let's sign in. So here we are in my Apollo account. I created this new account for the purpose of explanation, so you can follow the steps with ease. First, I'll show you what you can actually find in Apollo, and then I'll show you how we can use Apollo I.O. So, after logging into your Apollo account, you will be taken to the Apollo dashboard. The dashboard includes five main tabs, Home, Search, Engage, Plays, and Enrich. The Home tab provides onboarding resources for new users, as well as a control center where users can access important information. The Cockpit feature allows users to see an overview of their sales performance, while the Data Health Center helps ensure that their data is accurate and up-to-date. The Search tab allows users to find and filter through people, companies, lists, and saved searches. This feature helps businesses identify and target potential customers more efficiently. The Engagement tab is where users can manage their sales outreach activities. This includes sequences, calls, snippets, emails, tasks, meetings, and more. By centralizing these functions in one place, businesses can better organize their outreach efforts and track their progress. The Plays tab is another powerful feature of Apollo I.O. Plays are like a set of rules that can help businesses automatically reach out to potential customers. By using Plays, users can save time and effort by letting the platform do the outreach work for them, such as sending emails or making calls. Finally, the Enrich section offers several tools for data enrichment. This includes an overview of a person or company's information, CSV enrichment for bulk data uploads, job change alerts, CRM enrichment, and API enrichments. These features help businesses keep their data accurate and complete allowing them to make more informed decisions and improve their sales strategies. Now, let's see how to create or edit a list. Apollo Lists is a feature that helps you keep all of your important contacts or companies in one place so that you can easily find them whenever you need to. You can search for them, use them in a sequence, or even export them to use them in other tools. Creating and editing lists is a straightforward process that can be done in a few simple steps. So to create a list, you can start by clicking on the Search tab within the Apollo I.O. dashboard. This will take you to a new page where you can navigate to the Lists tab located on the upper side of the screen. Clicking on this tab will take you to the List section. To create a new list, you can navigate to the top right corner of the screen and click on the New List button. This will open up a dialog box where you can enter the name of your new list. Once the name has been entered, you can click on the Save button to create the list. From here, you can see all of your saved lists and select the one you want to view. If you want to edit an existing list, you can simply click on the three dots located under the Actions column. This will give you the option to edit the title of the list, making it easy to update. Searching for people and adding them to lists is an important function within the Apollo I.O. platform. To start, click on the People tab located in the Apollo Search tab. In the search box under Filters, type in the name of the person you are looking for or the company they work for. This will generate a list of results matching your search query. You can then filter these results by location, job title, company, and other criteria to further narrow down your search. Once you have found the person you're interested in, click on their name to view their contact information work history, and other details. If you want to access their email and phone number, click on Access Email and Phone Number. This will show you their email and phone number, which you can use to contact them. To add people to your lists, simply tick the box under the name sections of the people you want to add. 
Then navigate to the Lists tab and click on it. From here, click on Add to Lists. This will open a dialog box where you can select the lists you created earlier. Click on the drop down menu button and select the lists you want to add these people to. Finally, click on the Confirm button to add them to your lists. Searching for companies in Apollo I.O. is a straightforward process. Firstly, click on the Search tab, and then click on the Companies section. In the search bar, you can either enter the name of the company you're looking for, or use keywords related to the industry or location of the company. Once you enter the name of the company or keyword, then hit Enter. Apollo I.O. will display a list of results matching your search query. To narrow down your search, you can use filters such as location, industry, size, and other criteria. This helps you find companies that meet your specific requirements. Once you find the company you're interested in, click on their profile to view their contact information, industry, size, and other details. If you want to add these companies to a specific list, it's a simple process. Just select the number of companies you want to add and then add them to your lists, similar to how we added people to lists earlier. By keeping your companies on lists, you can easily access their information and use it to your advantage. Next, let's see how to create sequences. Sequences in Apollo I.O. are a way to send a series of personalized and timed emails to your prospects and customers automatically. It helps you to save time and improve your sales and customer success processes by providing a scalable and personalized way to communicate with them. To create a sequence, you first need to hover over Engage and click on Sequences. Once you're on the Sequences page, click on the Plus New Sequence button at the top right corner of the screen. This will open a pop-up window with three options, Pre-built, New, and Clone. We are going to create a sequence from the scratch, so we will choose the New option. After choosing the New option, you will be asked to provide the sequence name and schedule. Enter the name of your sequence and adjust the schedule if necessary. Then click on Create to proceed to the next step, where you have to add steps. To add steps, click on the Add Step button and select your desired option. We are going to choose Automatic Email. Once you've chosen Automatic Email, you can select whether to immediately send out an email after the contact is added to the sequence or set a specific amount of time before sending out the email. You can also set a specific number of emails to be sent within 24 hours. To do this, click on Show Advanced Setting and enter the number of emails you want to send to your contacts within 24 hours. Once you have done this, then click on Continue. You will be taken to another window. In the window, type the subject of the email in the subject box and your message in the body section. On the right side of the window, you can see a live preview of how your email looks. Once you've typed your email, click on Save Changes. This will create your new sequence. It's important to note that in the free plan, you can only create two sequences. If you want to create more than two sequences, you will need to upgrade your plan in Apollo I.O. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using Apollo. There are more things to learn about Apollo, so if you're interested in an advanced tutorial, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to make it happen whenever I get a chance. You can check the links in the description. That helps a lot. Thank you. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.